Thanks so much for joining us on this Friday night. For Queen 6 News at 10, I'm Elizabeth Din. Starting this month, pipes, foil, even straws are going to be distributed to drug users across Multnomah County. The goal is to prevent overdoses and save lives, but there are city leaders calling this misguided. Now to our Joelle Jones live tonight, digging deeper into this new controversial step. Joelle? Yes, Liz, while this policy is new here in Portland, the county says smoking supplies have already been successfully integrated into harm reduction programs across the nation. We're in a completely new situation. We need new innovative strategies. A new controversial strategy to address the drug crisis is being rolled out by Multnomah County this month. Amid rising overdose deaths, today Public Health Director Jessica Guernsey confirmed the county will begin providing smoking supplies like tinfoil and straws, along with pipes and snorting kits to drug users as part of their existing harm reduction program. The new part of the program is that we're adding supplies for people who smoke drugs. Um, we've seen a shift shift in um, injection from injection drug use to smoking drug use so that we can engage people who may not otherwise um, uh, engage in services. We're told this addition comes at the request of the county's public health team just a little more than a week after they presented on the success of their syringe exchange program. Still, not all are convinced this is a good use of taxpayer dollars. Like Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler, who stated today, quote, I adamantly oppose distributing paraphernalia to encourage using a drug that is the leading cause of death for Americans under 50 and responsible for 190 fatal overdoses a day in the U.S. This misguided approach also results in a greater risk to public safety for those who simply want to enjoy our city without walking through a cloud of toxic smoke. As one of those responsible for this recommendation, we asked Guernsey for a response to the mayor's concerns. I follow the science and the science tells us that programs like syringe exchange and harm reduction saves lives and that's what we do in public health. I think that's a shared interest we have. And, um, you know, I know some of these methods can be controversial, but that's what we're really looking at. We're looking at the severe you know, risk of overdose and death and um, using the science to build a bridge to prevent that. Well, the county has confirmed this is happening in July. We still don't have an exact start date on when they plan to roll out these smoking supplies. But of course, we're going to continue to follow this rollout and any impacts it may have on the ongoing drug crisis. Reporting live in downtown Portland, I'm Joelle Jones, Queen 6 News. Joelle, thank you.